What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John before here bring us more Battlefield Hardline on PS4. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this gameplay because in this gameplay, I managed to go 18 kills and three deaths. Not that bad, especially with this weapon. I'll explain to you guys why am I kind of lucky with this weapon. And um, you know, the K10, it's located on the police side only. The only way you can unlock it on the criminal side, like I said before, you got to get. 1,250 kills with that weapon and it's gonna take you a total like around more than a hundred games because I know most of the people here in Battlefield Hardline usually get like around average of uh, 10 kills to 20 20 kills that's it, it the, because the game doesn't last that long the only way you can get a lot more kills will be during team death matches like 400 tickets so you have more of a chance to unlock your uh, weapon on the criminal side on uh, team deathmatch instead of heist or conquest or whatever you know so that now you guys know at least you guys know how to unlock the weapon on the criminal side now so anyways uh back to the main topic about the k10 this k10 is amazing when it comes down to 1v1 situations in the battlefield and let me tell you guys why it has the fastest rapid fire of all the guns here in battlefield hardline uh it does mark the speed though if you guys have been playing battlefield for the longest time um, each weapon they show their speeds on the uh, on the rapid fire and apparently the k10 goes 1025 or 1050 I'm not sure which one it goes but all I know is it's over a thousand compared to the criminal side of the fastest uh, rapid fire weapon over there it's the p90 which goes to, like up to 900 I believe and um, that's the fastest gun and when I tested out the k10 I was amazed by it because I was like what you know it is an insta kill most of the time i mean just click the r2 and bam 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 like half of the mag is gone and the enemy's already down that's how fast your weapon shoots and the negative side about this though the k10 may, may be amazing from the 1v1 situations like if you guys saw that part right there i took him down i think i believe he was a little bit damaged but yeah but still it's pretty good because i believe i took him down with four bullets instead of all the eight because i don't miss like half of them but anyways um yeah the k10 the bad thing about it though is that you cannot take out large groups of people. You just can't. Unless they're lined up like back to back to each other, which I have done before. And I'll probably show in this gameplay where I took out like around three people in a row because they were like in the line. That's the only way you can take out a large group of people. When you see them like from left to right, like coming out at you like like that, you can't take out a lot a lot of people like that. Because um the mag is super small. Like it's only 25 bullets. And the bad thing is, another bad thing is that um you don't have extended mag attachment for this weapon. You can't have it. It's not on the list. And I was like, why would they take it away? It would have been so amazing. So I ended up putting the red laser sight on it instead. Which pretty much helps the hip fire because now the crosshairs are going to be super tight. So, eh, it came out winning. But at the same time, I really want to take out large crowds of people with a K10 with an extended mag. But it doesn't allow me because it only holds 26 bullets. So um, I recommend using this gun when it comes down to like tight corridors and 1v1 situations and do not try to go into fucking ramble mode and try to take out everybody with this gun. You just can't because you're only holding 26 bullets. So like around most of the time, you're going to end up reloading your gun all the time, all the time, all the time. So um, extra information, you know, per mag, you can take out at least two enemies compared to the MPX, which is another gameplay that I've shown earlier. Uh, the MPX, you know, that one you can actually take out large crowds of enemies but the problem is that one you can't shoot from long range and this is another thing about the k10 the k10 can actually shoot from long range even despite having the fastest you know amount of you know rapid fire it has so i'm kind of kind of weirded out because the mpx shoots slower so it should be able to shoot from long range but the k10 it shoots super fast but it's still super accurate from long range what kind of fucking what, what situation is this I, I'm, I'm confused man <laughs> the roles like are reversed and shit but uh anyways yeah that's some extra information about the range about these weapons this weapon is just super good from short range it's amazing it's the master of short range medium range is good it's still good and long range is still good so it's it's amazing i mean it's, it's like master great and good that's how the range goes. So that is it, guys. I'll be working on a best class setup for this uh, for this weapon, and you're going to be able to see that later in the week. So subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline tips and strategies.